In this video, we're going to be scanning QR codes and text using Vision Kit. We'll be using the Vision Kit framework, which was introduced in iOS 13. We'll be following the scanning data with the camera article, which is on the developer website. If you would like to learn more, the link will be down in the description below. We're now going to get started by creating a UI kit project. You could also do this in Swift UI, but there's going to be some additional steps that are required. And now we can save it somewhere on our desktop. Next, what we're going to do is add a centered UI button inside of the main storyboard. So go right here, add this in, and then we can center it on the screen uh, by adding these constraints. Now that that's done, let's open up the assistant and connect this button to the view controller hold control and drag it onto the view controller. Here we're going to create an action called start scanning pressed. Make sure that you select action right here. Let's put a print message inside of this function and see if everything is wired correctly. So we press the button right here and we get a print message. The next thing that we have to do is add a privacy usage description. Go right here under info and add a new key called privacy access uh, camera usage description. And here you wanna put in your description in this value. Next, we're going to import vision kits inside of our view controller. And now we're going to create a variable called scanner available to check if the scanner is available. This is going to be a Boolean. And what we're going to do is say data scanner view controller dot is supported and data scanner view controller is available. Both values must be true in order to uh, use this program. We're going to say scanner available must be true otherwise we're going to print this error message explaining that the scanner is not available for usage next we're going to present the data scanner view controller from vision kit let's first create a object into here we need to pass in uh, recognize data types as the parameter we're going to pass in dot text and also dot barcode inside of this array. And then you can pass in optional um, parameters. Like here, we're going to put in is highlighting enabled. And then we say present this view controller animated true. And once it's presented, we need to uh, start scanning. So we'll say data scanner dot start scanning. Let's try this out. So this is not going to work in the simulator. What you need to do is connect it to your physical device and to make sure it's running on iOS 16 or higher. So we press start scanning. It's going to ask for the camera, Let's say okay. And here's the camera and it's uh, looking for text or QR codes. We're now going to implement the delegate function did tap on. Go right here, say data scanner dot delegates equals self. And then we need to create an extension on this view controller. And say data scanner view controller delegates. And now you can type out the did tap on function. 
So this handles when the user taps on an item recognized by the data scanner. What we're going to do now is do a switch statement on this recognized item. First, we're going to handle the default case. We'll say unexpected item. And first case is going to be text. We need to say let text inside of here. And then we can print out the contents of this text. We'll say text.transcript. And this should print out whatever text is selected. We could also put this to the pasteboard and um, paste it anywhere else in the iOS app. Now we're going to handle the case for barcodes. Let's say let's code. And now what we need to do is make sure that there is a URL string. So we'll say guard let URL string is equal to code dot payload string value, otherwise return. And then we're going to create a URL using the URL constructor by passing in the string. And if that fails, we'll just return. Now we can call UI application dot shared dot open URL and pass in this URL. Let's try this out and see how it works. So here I'm going to scan the simulator, this uh, search text. So I have to tap on it and it's going to print it out in the console right there. This continue button, we, we tap on it and it says text is continue. And here I'm just pasting it to um, the keyboard. Now let's try this with the QR code. Here's a QR code that points to my YouTube channel. I'm now going to scan this and tap on it. This opens up the YouTube app because I have YouTube installed. You can easily generate QR codes using a QR code generator. This one right here points to google.com, but you can point it to wherever. If you found this video useful, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You can connect with me on LinkedIn or join our Discord. All of the links will be in the description down below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Goodbye now.